driving through Colbert, Georgia on our way down to Athens and uh, saw this building and thought, hmm, this might be the original old train depot. It's not because we saw the original down the block, but this is a cool building. And I love that the guy's got all this cool train stuff here. And he's like an enthusiast, obviously, to uh, the train world. So I thought you guys might dig this building, this exterior here. Isn't that neat? What a great job with the construction on this place. Let's go inside and uh, take a look what the inside looks like. All right, we're going to go inside here. And look at this. This was not, I found out this was not a train depot, but the guy who had it built is an enthusiast, obviously, and uh, looked at a bunch of different train depots and decided to have his storefront built like an old train station. I'm Alan White. I'm a pharmacist. I've got a drugstore in Colbert, Georgia. It's called Colbert Pharmacy. I've been in Colbert about 48 years. I collect American Flyer trains and I have collected over the years just a lot of different train things, train memorabilia, and uh, been on a few train trips. Awesome. But, um, 30, 32 years ago, I started building this, this uh, building. And it was, I wanted to design like a train depot. Mostly I was looking at books. I had a real good friend from high school that was in the construction business. And he urged me to keep going, keep at your awesome. idea and try to let's get it going. Central of Georgia Railroad depots were real interesting. So we went down that line. Cool. And some of the depots, sadly, are gone. Yeah. Uh, a lot of them are in disrepair, but a yep. lot of them have been reclaimed for uh, city halls or for meeting halls. So you got some information here. Right. Um, can, can I show this? Uh, yeah, I awesome. kind of went with some books and uh, designs um, to base the outside of this building on, which you guys have seen, and you can see... You can see where the inspiration came from now. This is really neat. Cool. And what's this? Georgia Pharmacist Quarterly. This was uh, in 1992. I probably had been in here just for a short while. And it just talked about how I had blended my hobby with my profession. Cool. Is this you? Uh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a young man, right? Yeah. <laughs> Well, this is awesome, and you've got some amazing uh, model train memorabilia in here. And I know I'm always fascinated by this, and so are hopefully our viewers are too. There's one in particular you want to tell me about this one right back here, if you don't mind. Okay. Um, this big guy here, what is this all about? Okay, that's a Buddy L. It's been repainted. Somebody put new decals on it, and they painted the wheels. But uh, there were several cars that go with this i've got some of the cars are over there okay uh and they were uh from the 1930s i believe um manufactured out of heavy steel metal yeah they're this, it's this solid he used to make car parts it's a flatbed with Ford some wood motor on. company okay and uh he liked trains and he he built a train set for one of his children and so after that, he said, I think I'll make a train. And he also did toy trucks and cars. And yeah, you got things. a ton of stuff in here. But this actually came with, it's got track that you bolt together and you, you could have it outside. Sure. American Flyer Trains also were the same company. They were the company that made erector sets. Oh, gotcha. And before they had American Flyer Trains in is that the what late this is? 30s, this is a director set. One of the originals. Something somebody had built. Gotcha. And I bought it all and put it together. But I do have an erector Hudson, which was a special set. Is that, that the black train with the yeah, silver front there? And it was made with special parts. It was never 
um, something that ran on any tracks. It was just for static display. Gotcha. Although the one I have there has an old electric motor, so somebody must have rigged it up so it would run in place. Gotcha. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, thanks so much for all the okay. wealth of the wealth of knowledge. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Appreciate it's still it. Still a lot of fun. I have people passing through that stop in. Yeah. And this is a find for me. This is really cool. Don't like trains. They still enjoy coming in and seeing what we have got or what's Ex going on. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So let's take a look at some of these bad boys. Thank you so much. All right. Quite the collection though, look at that. Look at some of these bad boys. So cool. Check out our red caboose video on our channel that we found in Hendersonville, North Carolina. Looks just like that, but it was built out of an old wood box car. And this guy's got tons of stuff back here. Just, let's see if I get a better view of some of this stuff over here. Yeah, two cows and a train. <laughs> So that awesome exterior architecture was what got me to stop. That one's pretty cool. Like the old passenger cars from our Amtrak from back in the day. This one looks really old. Look at that. All those cool old bottles up there. Cool old Ferris wheels. Now that glass is making it hard to focus here. Once again, check out this cool architecture. All right, guys, hope you guys dig these uh, these old train, model train stuff here. And uh, this really cool old building that was built to look like an old train station by an enthusiast. If you dig our videos, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you soon. And if you want to check this out online, Colbert Pharmacy. It says Colbert, Georgia. Have a good day.